Hello everybody, Walter here. Welcome to the second episode of my Oxygen Not Included Let's Play series with the Spaced Out DLC. A series in which I try to get every single achievement within a single colony. So let's get straight back to it and let's have a look at where we left off in the previous episode. And here we go. Now, last episode I managed actually quite a lot uh, with building a proper barracks, at least once this tile has been built. I also have, once it's loaded in, a proper latrine setup down here, which I hope I can upgrade to a proper washroom uh, in this episode. I have power, I have research, I have a power bank, and I have oxygen production and the beginnings of a ranching setup, plus some water on the side. So that's everything I needed last episode. This time I am going, as I said, first for a proper washroom. So I need first the filtration so I can get into distillation and get the water sieve, which is needed to turn the polluted water back into proper usable water. And while all of this is going, I need to plan out a few more things. First of all, I need to plan out down here a water reservoir because this water here is in the way of further ranches. So I will have to store it down here and I would prefer to store it here to the side. Uh, maybe I could even have some kind of heat exchange going on so I can cool this down and only heat the water somewhat and not boil my entire colony to death, which would be rather annoying. So let's plan this out. I need to go down here. Obviously I want to keep some spacing left to the hot magma and then I need to dig down. So. I'm going to go with a ladder down here, maybe down there. I don't want to go into this space yet. Um, then let's see. Let's actually place it there. We have some more additional spacing and it fits better into my overall setup with the alternating dust. actually go a bit further down just so that I get a very or well, as big space going as I can. I will need that space. There's a lot of water in all of those reservoirs. There's even more. This one here will produce in the immediate time quite a bit of water and I might actually also mix in the polluted water. Usually you want to keep those separated uh, in case you get any kind of germs in them. This would be an issue. But um, for now, let's actually have a look at the skills. So Max has its, his first skill point. This obviously goes into advanced research. He gets the head. Oh, he could have had the mechatronic engineering, by the way. Uh, so now we can actually use, or he can actually use the supercomputer. And uh, let's actually make sure those are built. Just so that the power up here works properly. So anyway, uh, I'm adding another ladder there and just making sure I have as much space up there as I can. As I said, filtration is not something I really need. Just getting, quickly rid of those exclamation marks. And yeah, of course the day is over, but I can still plan more stuff. So the wash person is the old stuff. Uh, the sink is the new normal, uh, the more modern stuff. You can see they have an input and an output for pipes. And the same is true for the lavatory. And uh, the reason I'm upgrading is these here need duplicant labor, especially those need some labor every couple uses. And uh, that's a simple time waste again. Once I've set this up with a water sieve, I only need to provide it with just a tiny amount of, water, uh, of power and uh, I will have to do nothing else. Well, sometimes putting some sand in the water sieve. So, this is all being set up. Now I have water in this pipe. I can delete the pump there and I just got two more skills, uh, hard digging for my first digger and hard digging for my second digger. Now they can actually get through the granite down here. You 
like we saw beforehand that there were those uh, warning signs. Now I can actually get through that. So, now I will also need to put some water into this pipe here. Or at least connect this pipe to the water. And I can get rid of that one. Was the hatch is no over there. So I will also have to do some more digging because I've been building a lot recently and my food supply is going a bit down. So let's just make sure that I get some proper digging going. Um, just marking out the future potential rooms with that here. And then just working my way all the way over there. So I can get all of the hidden goodies here. And that one. Sand falls down, so I will have to deal with that occasionally. Oops. Wrong button. And... Just making sure I get as much of those Good supplies as I can, and of course, trying to avoid the oxalite. Uh, why is this not? Ah, okay, I didn't activate harvesting, so um, the dupes will only harvest if I allow it. And now everything should be set to harvesting. Yes, perfect. Um, since this is free food, it's not much, but it's quite a bit. And uh, before I go into ranching, I might actually have to deal with this carbon dioxide down here uh, first. So you can see I got some meal lice. Which... Uh, and I get potentially my next tube. So let's have a look. Kind of, mm, not really. Uh, you're a rancher, but you're a bad rancher. Nope. Those aren't really too much of an issue. Cooking would be nice. I need a cook quite soon. But I could use some more hatches. Yeah, I'm going for more hatches. And you can see I now have uh, 600 kilocalories of meal lice lying around. Um, yeah, it's not perfect food, but it's free food. And um, if you can get it. Why shouldn't you take it? So, anyway, I am going to need some more letters there, just so the dupes can get all the way over there. And, um... Do I want to plan out the next... No, first, this one here has to be done. And research has to be done. Why are you running in the hamster wheel? Wait, let me see. Okay, Harold, you're now doing the operating. And... Uh, Max, you're not researching. Uh, you're not operating, only researching. Did I? Somewhere I killed some oxalite. Hmm, unfortunate. Oh, and while I'm here, I might actually want to place a storage bin in here for now. Uh, because I, as I said, will have to deal with all of that slime here. And if I find it, some oxalite, which is of course over there. Um, of course, if you have off-gassing materials and you put them in a storage bin or directly into water or another liquid, then they will stop off-gassing, which is really, really useful. So, anyway, research is being done. This is all going to be dug out. Um, I could actually... Oh, I have the mesh tile now, which is quite useful. Uh, let me just prepare a few things. First of all, for better gas exchange, I'm putting some below those. Um, the mesh tile is like a normal tile, but it lets through gases and liquids, which can be, as I said, quite useful. And while I'm here, I'm also preparing some power supply, because this is where I will place my deodorizers which will deal with all of the polluted oxygen I might have in my base. So, water sieve is done. I'm also going for the liquid reservoir, since the lavatories actually produce more polluted water than I need to put in water. 
So this is overall a water positive process. And um, if I don't deal with that, this whole system here will get stuck again. So for now, I will just put the water reservoir once I have it available in here. And uh, once I can farm, so once I have the local war achievement, I might put some uh, reed fiber over there. So, let's see. This is all going quite nicely. Um, oh, sedimentary rock. I am going to need the sedimentary rock here. I'm going to need a lot of that. And for now, let's just avoid the slime. Uh, although... No, it's not there yet. So. For now, let's just avoid it because I can't deal yet with all of the... with the oxygen. So. And now, it's a bit of a waiting game for research to be done. And for... Uh, uh, all of this digging being finished. And the research is done, so we can now place our liquid reservoir. Oh, and this here is exactly the reason why I want to upgrade to a proper washroom as soon as possible. Um, because it takes a lot of time to clean out in the outhouse and the tube will be also covered in germs after that. So, that is being done. We can also get a bit of the pipe up here, and where is the water? Ah, damn it, there's water in there. Uh, we'll have to deal with that too. Um, but first, let's have a look at our newest achievement, which is the Royal Flush, since we have now upgraded officially to a washroom with moral plus two, instead of just plus one. So then let's add those here. And uh, how am I going to deal with this water? Do I want to deal with that? Yeah, I want to deal with that. Uh, but before that, let's have a look at the research. So uh, let's quickly get rid of all of that. And uh, what am I going to research now? I have polluted dirt and polluted water from the outhouse and the wash basins. Let's see. Yeah. I also have tons and tons of carbon dioxide down here. I have to deal with all of that first before I get further. So um, this is done. Now we're going into gases, uh, deodorizer, and carbon skimmer. Yeah, decontamination. That's what we are aiming for now. Because we need, well, clean air to breathe. Yeah, we have some water in there. This is obviously not something we want. We have to ensure. Oh, I would like this to get out of there, if possible, and as soon uh, as long as we don't have any unwanted polluted water inside of that. Because if you have polluted water going in the wrong pipe, this would actually cause damage to our buildings. But uh, that's actually looking somewhat good. Now, uh, while I'm waiting for uh, Dupe to build this, let's quickly talk about how the system here works. Essentially, there is uh, priority in pipes. First come the building inputs, then the pipes, then the building outputs. And let's quickly make this uh, as priority. So, okay. Now, essentially, this means that if I have bullet water being produced here, it goes out in the pipe. And the first thing happens is that it will get to try to get into the internal reservoir of the water sieve here. If the water sieve is out of order or backed up, then it will go further along the pipe over the bridge and into the reservoir. That's how this priority works. The same is true here. First the water will get sucked into this one, then this one and so on. So that's how this works. Now, the outputs of buildings have lowest priority, which is the reason I had to go with this up and down here. Because if I just went straight and this one here isn't used, then the tiny packages of polluted water that it produces would block all of the later wash basins. And if I have, for example, four dupes here, 
wanting to wash their hands and only one can. The other three don't wait. They just go through and then well, put their germy hands on my food supply. And that's... Well, with mugwood it's not a problem, but if uh, I have food in there that can rot, then that is a real issue. And well, it's an issue because the cubes will get ill in either case. So, now this is how this thing works, and um, well, gas pipes work uh, the same idea. Uh, no. I can actually build the rest of this ceiling here a bit more, uh, since um, all of this carbon dioxide is that was collected over there has now gone down. And since we're now working on a carbon skimmer, we need to build our uh, collection area or the area for the carbon skimmer down here. Now I will put some water down here, so I might want to go one layer up. Uh, so let's go with that. It needs just three high, but I'll go with four high. Um, it's also a good idea to put it one higher. Um, boom, boom, boom. The room starts here. Let's go up there. And um, so this is the initial search there. I will need a water sieve because the carbon skimmer takes normal water and turns it into polluted water. And then I can use the water sieve to reverse this process. And uh, that's about it. I need to mirror this in this configuration, I think. And I think this is the right combination. I will also need power. Um, I think it's that one. And I will need some water. Not much. Not much water. Just a tiny bit of water. 10, 20 kilograms is by far enough. I just need a little bit of water in that loop. And now let's greatly increase the priority of all of these buildings here, just to make sure it's all being built out as it's supposed to. And this is bounded like our next uh, potential tube. So let's have a look. We have a, another farmer. I don't really need that right now. We have a potential cook. Um, not really happy with this one. Can't build. Cannot really excavate and needs light to sleep. No. No free farm, no. Let's go with mug root. We are a bit unlucky actually with our drawers here. Um, we have to live with that. We will need a cook somewhat soon, but, um, yeah, should not be too much of an issue yet. You know what, let's turn off this water cooler. Um, it's only wasting water and I don't really need the bonus to moral at the moment. And let's also set the direction for this. Before I forget that again. Then we have the water, uh, nee, the airflow tile, which is similar to mesh tile, uh, but doesn't let through liquids, only gases. And that allows us to make some rooms that have a bit more of an airflow going through them just to make sure that everything flows where it's supposed to go. So, um, that's another one there. Oh, just up there. And that's looking good. Now you know what, let's just dig a bit over here. We are going to need all the resources you can get, and especially those buried objects. But let's actually go all the way. Maybe not here. This is free food, so this is not going to be dug out. And let's see. Let's go with letters all the way. While the research is running in the background and the setup for the carbon skimmer is also being built. We'll have a look in just a moment. But for now this is all looking quite good. 
Yeah, this is all being dug out. We have some water now in here. We can get rid of the pump. Also doesn't need any power. And let's just increase this to six. So this is also being done. And now we can connect the pipe down here. So the water can flow down. And once this here has been built uh, and is powered, and the research is done, which is quite soon already, we can build our carbon skimmer and can deal with all of this annoying carbon dioxide down here. And then my tubes won't waste as much time just going up and down this ladder here, which is nice. And we can also get into more... Um, uh, I would say not really more useful research, because it's all somewhat useful. Ah, okay. This is done. Nice, nice airlock. Let's place the carbon skimmer. And I need to... Yeah, I need to lower it. And the power is also correct. Yeah. So, carbon skimmer is done. Water will come as soon as it can. Uh, we also need to put this to six. And it's time first for some deodorizers. Those will take, as you can see here, polluted oxygen, plus some sand, and a little bit of power to turn this into clay and clean oxygen. And that's very important because polluted oxygen is really dangerous once you have some slime dug out and slime lung running amok in your base. It's not a real base killer anymore, as it was, as I heard at least in the beginning. But it's not fun for the dupes to get it. So, let's build that out. Yep. Of course, it also needs some power. But this is a bit of a future setup. So, once this is done, let's set this to 2. And then let's set all of this here to 6. So, we can make sure that this digging down here is done first. Because I want to get rid of all of that water so I can really get into building my ranching setup. But now it's time for researching. So um, let's see. I I think I'm going for first uh, the rock crusher and kiln and then for the fire pool. After that I will go into ranching and then uh, I will go into automation. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. So let's see how this goes. This is all being built out. This is nice. Okay. The water should flow down now. Perfect. And uh, as you can see, the carbon scanner is already removing all of this carbon dioxide here a lot. You can see the pressure is decreasing rather quickly. And yeah, now all of that water is out of this pipe, so we can get rid of it. And now it's time to wait until all of this one here has been dug out. Maybe adding a bit more digging here to the side, just so we get a bit further along the entire thing. But while I'm here, why not just plan out the next two stables for my ranching. I'm not yet digging out all of this area since I don't want the water down here yet, uh, but I can still do some pre-planning. And what I can also do is maybe adding a ladder at the back here. Uh, maybe not up to here yet. Um, supercomputer needs a lot of water to run, so this will be done in a few cycles anyway. So we'll have to go down here at some point anyway. And then let's just dig down. Um, Meteor shower is not really an issue for me at the moment. I'm not close to the surface, I believe. Uh, do I want to deal with the gases here? Not yet. It's not too much of an issue, although the carbon skimmer obviously can't deal with the chlorine. And uh, I would also not want right now some 
Alte Schnitte drauf mit Bs. So, Sun Nymph Egg. So, one of these shine bugs here has created a mutant. Okay. Oh, and I have my adventure. Perfect. So now I really need to get into ranching. Um, I haven't set up the ranching setup yet. So, um, do I go for ranching first? Ah, I'm going for the fireball first. It's just so much more important, in my opinion. Because the fireball means much, much faster dupes when they need to get single. Research is done. We have a kiln and a rock crusher. I'm going to place the rock crusher. Where do I place that one? This will be my kitchen future in the future. Let's just place it here, together with the kiln. The stable is very accommodating what I can place in it. There are just a few minor buildings I can't place. And I have slime. Okay. Now I really need to deal with the slime. The simplest way is to just put it in a storage bin that has some water, at least in, at the lower level. And setting this to the highest level. Um, if you have either the storage bin in some water or the material itself in water, then it won't be able to off -gas. This is for slime, this is for oxalite, bleach stone, and some more. But the important part is to deal with that pretty soon, because this green stuff here, this is all slime lung. Slime lung is... Oh, come on, let's show you this in action. Slime lung is not a nice disease. I don't actually show you what it does, but um, let me tell you, my dupes aren't happy with it. It's just one more stressor I don't need in my base. So, anyway, this is going quite nicely. Uh, I mustn't forget that this one here also needs power. And I actually want to go higher with the priority. No, I'll just wait until this is dug out and I have some more um, researches done. And uh, then we're actually already getting a bit close to the end of this episode here. So, the digging is pretty much done. I also added some stepping stones here if a hatch accidentally falls in here. It should be able to get out. Really important. Also had to add another letter back there or the storage bin was not accessible. And we are getting a new dupe, at least I hope. So let's have a look. Saltwater. Well, last assault essentially. Rocketry, not really needed at the moment. Cooking, ranching, suit wearing. Okay, that's an interesting combination. Immune to food poisoning, no doctoring. That would be definitely a contender. Building, decorating, supplying. Again, he's good at building, but uh, not really. Um, yeah, interesting combination. I'm thinking about Hassan, actually. I'm going to need a cook, definitely. And this is a nice combination of skills to have. So, welcome on board, Hassan. You're our cook. And potentially a second rancher. Ah, come on. Rancher. Yeah, definitely. Let's go with Hassan. Now, as usual, let's start with the skills. So he gets the grilling. This will become important once we have some meat coming in. And uh, priorities. So let's have a look. Obviously, he's going to do all of the cooking. Second priority is ranching and farming. And otherwise, digging, no, not really supplying, storing, yes. Hitting, why not? Toggling, why not? Life support, why not? I'll keep my hands off the operating, since he's supposed to do the cooking later on, and operating is just... Uh, uh, can be a time sink if he is just the one in the manual generator. 
So, those are also built. Let's set the kiln up. I'm going to produce as much ceramic as I can. And uh, let's say 10 refined carbon, because why not? It's just not getting power. Oh, nothing is getting power, because my dupes are running back and forth, getting all of this annoying slime out of the way. Of course, if you look at this, we have pockets of polluted oxygen with slime lung in them. And that's really not a good thing to have in your base. So, this is uh, dug out. So, now, I think before I get started with my ranching setup and maybe my mess hall, I am at a good point to stop with this episode. So what did we achieve in this episode? Well, we upgraded our latrine to a washing room. We have our carbon skimmer. We have our water reservoir, which only needs to be filled. And we also are rather good when it comes to food. Got a few more dupes. And overall, we are at a good point for the next few steps. And so, to bring this episode to an end, a few final words. First of all, please let me know what you thought about this episode and whether you would like to see more. Or maybe you have some tips for me. I'm always happy to learn new things about this game. And finally, I wish you a nice day and well, see ya!